Yeah, I think for the, um, you know, the first half, you know, I, I had some looks which I didn't make, um, which is on me, um, but using me as a decoy to, you know, drag a defender out and, um, you know, put Delhi in some ball screen action with our bigs and, you know, then have some action occupying the weak side was something that was, um, yeah, it was really good for us. It got us that lead at, at half time. So uh, my mindset was, let's just keep doing what's working. Um, you know, the advantage of that dried up a tiny bit in the, in the second half because I couldn't find myself in those positions where I could drag that help defender. Um, so, you know, we just went into the playbook and, and, and found some, some different stuff. And, you know, I, my mindset was just remain aggressive. It's, you know, you might not get a shot for a few minutes. We've got a lot of guys that can play basketball. So just remain aggressive. And when it's your turn, um, try and put them in. Dean, hi Chris, um, great win today and a nice bounce back. Um, can you talk about what changed in that last quarter, Dean, that I, I guess it was sort of to and fro and then you managed to get on top late? Yeah, we've seemed to have recently just had a, had a quarter where we, um, you know, we get, a, we get a little stagnant offensively and, um, you know, I thought, you know, Creaky was pretty good through that period as well and, you know, we had our troubles. We for the first time all season, we, we tried our our two bigs on the floor, and I thought you know defensively um, it was good for us for for that little period to hold it down at the at the end of the third, and um, you know something that we we can continue to look at and look at different ways to get them going offensively if we play them together as well. But yeah, it was just trying to throw a different look. But they they matched us with their bigs as well through that period, and so we ended up having Brad Newley guard uh, Creaky for that little period and I thought he did a, did a solid job as well. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, obviously we made Chris more of an option uh, in in the fourth quarter and, you know, early in the game we thought we we had really good stuff with, you know, Delhi coming off on balls where um, it was hard for them to, to help and Chris was, was that kind of decoy there. But, um, yeah, fourth quarter, you know, Shea... Um, Great back cut, you know, getting himself to the rim. Um, yeah, I thought we just had a good balance of of making three balls and putting our feet in the paint and and getting to the foul line. And you know, there's we we there's the stat there that I'm looking at, and I was like, wow, they did a really good job. Like we turned it over 14 times, which is probably about average for us. But you know, they scored 30 points off it, so over two points off every turnover that we make. Um, you know, they've, they've done a really good job of punishing us for, for, for every error. Chris, can you talk a little bit about the crowds tonight? I mean, just sitting there, and there's been some good crowds, so early in the year, but it hasn't really been anything like this where everyone's just gone nuts for every defensive play, every bucket. Was it a bit strange, you know, being out on the court for that? Yeah, it was great. When we ran out, you know, the, the boos from the Phoenix fans, the cheers from ours, it was um, a really good mix. So, um, as you say, uh, a lot of their fans cheering when they score. We had a lot of fans here tonight, so we thank them for coming out. They made a, a big portion of the crowd, and, and they were great. As you said, every defensive play, offensive play as well. It was a um, it was a good atmosphere and a, a big crowd and a loud crowd, and um, it's what you want to play in front of. Can you talk a little bit about that deep one that you hit late that sort of gave you that four point buffer and really killed it off? What was, what was the thinking? Just fire it up and. and Hit and hope. I mean, you do that. Hit and hope. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Yeah, the um, big fella. Big Joe Chi. Yeah. Um, yeah, they um, they switched Joe Chi out and, you know, he gave me um, some space. Um, and at that point, you know, I'd hit a few. I'd, I'd felt good. Um, and, you know, th I'm confident in that shot. So, um, you know, if I've got the, that space... I'm going to take it. Hopefully, um, it goes in, which it was good. It, it did tonight. But you know, Joe Chi's dragged out as well. We got Big A down there in rebounding position. Um, you know, there was a few things could have done, but um, you know, back myself on that one. Dean, can you um, take us forward? You've got another week's break, which I imagine will be good for you guys. And um, you've got your host Adelaide next Sunday. 
yeah, you know, obviously the you know there's two games, Perth and South East. Um, you know, really kind of you, you you come out of those two games knowing the things that you do well and the, and the things that you need to improve on because that both those games had you know finals intensity about it. So um, yeah, we learn a lot about ourselves. We you know got some got some things to to fix and and big part of that is you know. Playing 40 minutes, we, we just having a quarter that we, we, that we dry up a little bit right now. But you know, I just want to credit um, Ariel Huckworthy. You know, four minutes to go, and um, he's a 19-year-old kid, and we put him in a big situation. And I thought he was amazing. Uh, the two or three blocks that he had, the way he rebounded through that period, and the presence that he was um, at the block and, and making plays. It's you, you know, it's huge for for him to to close out that game and and be so effective. Um, yeah, we'll review that one and, and get ready for next week. And there's another guy that it was really important for you, Shay Lee. Um, I think you had 19 and, and really got your offense ticking over. Yeah, he was amazing. Um, you know, both. You know, Delhi was. I thought he had a great first half, and you know, Shay had the the great second half for us. And um, yeah, the the one play he. Late, later shot clock. He used the on ball once, used it again, got into his step back, and yeah, you know, big possession, great confidence for him to, um, you know, want to take that shot. Thanks, guys. Any uh, last questions? Or we'll wrap it up. Yeah, thank you, for me, please. Um, I just wanted to ask you about what you think of um, the mentality of your players um, today in that fourth quarter. Obviously. Uh, and coming off a loss against um, Perth and um, being down by 12 in the final quarter is obviously a tough sort of situation to find yourself in. What can you say about the, about the mental toughness of all your players today to, to get yourselves out of that situation? Yeah, you know, the experience that we've got on this group, they've been through... Um, these kind of situations before and and we know that if we just put consecutive stops together and um, and share the basketball and screen the way that we should screen that you know we always give ourselves a chance you know and then there's got to be some special kind of little mixes in there little plays and I thought there was one you know we'd missed a shot and and Shay chases it down knocks it out of someone's hand it's fallen out of bounds we we tip it back in and you just need those kind of um, examples to say we're just not quitting on anything and, and when you see that um, you know everyone feels the confidence that um, hey let's just keep going we got to, we'll give ourselves a chance Nah, we're all good. Thanks. Thanks.